hello you are welcome how to solve this nice algebra equation from here we are given 5 raised to power x multiplied by 10 raised to power x square equals to 50 from here we can write this and separate this 50 and this become 5 raised to power x times 10 raised to power x square equals to 5 multiplied by 10 5 times 10 is the same thing as 50. Then, in the next step, we divide both sides by 10. Let's divide this side by 10. Also, divide this side by 10. And the 10 from here, we cancel each other. Also, let's divide both sides by 5 raised to power x. Divide this side by 5 raised to power x. Also, divide this side by 5 raised to power x. And from here, 5 raised to power x cancel out. Then what we have left become 10 raised to power x square over 10 will then be equals to 5 over 5 raised to power x. And from here we have 10 raised to power 1, same thing as 10. Also 5 raised to power 1, same thing as 5. And when we apply the law of indices here, when we have division, then we can subtract the power and that will be 10 raised to power x square m minus 1 equals to here we have 5 raised to power 1 minus x then from here we can take the log on both sides so when we take the log on this side this becomes log 10 raised to power x square minus 1 then equals to log 5 raised to power 1 minus x then from here we apply the power law of log reading. This power here we can take it to the back here and this becomes x square minus 1. Then log 10, which is equal to also from here we have 1 minus x, then log 5. In the next step, let's divide both sides by log 10. So divide this side by log 10. And also divide this side by log 10. And from here, log 10 we cancel each other. And uh, we have x square minus 1, then equals to here. We can write this now that way from change of base. And we have 1 minus x, then log 5 base 10. Then in the next step, let's take everything on this side. To the left and this will become x square minus 1 then minus into bracket 1 minus x log 5 base 10 will then be equals to 0 and from here we have x square minus 1 we can also write it as x square minus 1 square so instead of writing just 1 we can write 1 square here 1 square is t1 then from the difference of two squares, we can write this and uh, this will be x plus 1. Then multiply by x minus 1. Then minus into bracket 1 minus x. Then log 5 is 10 equals to 0. And then uh, from here, we have x minus 1 here. Let's make this to be x minus 1 as well. That means we multiply through by minus. We bring minus out. And this is turned to plus. Then we have x plus 1 into bracket x minus 1. Then plus this turn to x minus 1. Then log 5 base 10 equals to 0. And then here now we have x minus 1 comma. We take it out and we have x minus 1 into bracket. What is left here is x plus 1. We have x plus 1. Then we have plus log 5 base 10 left here, which is equals to 0. Then from here, we have two possible cases. We have the first x minus 1 equals to 0. Or we have x plus 1 plus log 5 base 10 then equals to 0. From here, we solve this and we take minus 1 here. So x here equals to 1. And from here, x equals to, we take plus 1 here, become minus 1. 
also plus log 5 is 10 there become minus log 5 is 10 and also we can simplify this and this will be x equals to when we take minus out that's minus into bracket 1 then plus log 5 base 10 then from here 1 can be written as log 10 base 10 because log 10 base 10 will give us 1 log 10 base 10 same thing as 1 so therefore here let's write this as x equals to minus into bracket log 10 base 10 then plus log 5 base 10 and from here when we have sum of two log we can summarize it and then this number we multiply so we have x equals to minus into bracket log 10 times 5 or to base 10 then from here 10 times 5 there we give you 50 so we can say x equals to minus log 50 then base 10 so we have the second value of x from here as minus log 50 base 10 the first value of x is f x equals to 1 and we have come to the end of this solution thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel turn the notification bell on in order not to miss out also share this video and give it thumbs up see you next class and bye for now